Just a couple days ago, I got the John Deere 855 up and running. After a fresh engine rebuild on the Yanmar three-cylinder diesel, this thing runs and drives just like brand new. Many of you really enjoyed one of my last videos, which was the cost breakdown on the John Deere 400 garden tractor. And in today's video, I'll share with you guys how much I actually spent on this Yanmar three-cylinder diesel engine and how much it actually took me to get this tractor up and running the way it sits right here. Before I give you guys a breakdown on the engine rebuild, I'll go ahead and share with you guys the details on the rear end of this tractor. On the back end of this tractor, I removed the oil strainer, which is the lowest point of the transmission. I removed the strainer and on this cover, we have exactly two O-rings. Those two O-rings came to a total of $5 and towards the front of the transmission where the hydraulic motor sits, I had to change the inlet seal of the hydraulic motor, which cost me $15 and another $55 for the hydraulic filter, which mounts onto the hydraulic motor. So that was it on the rear end of this tractor. I didn't have to touch anything else because this tractor was driving before I purchased it. Now I'll go ahead and share with you guys the details on the engine. So on this John Deere 855, you'll find a three cylinder Yanmar diesel engine. Uh, you'll obviously find this also in a 655, 755, and 955. I'll share with you guys the cost that went into this engine, and then I'll also share with you guys some miscellaneous costs that were also just around this engine uh, as I took everything apart and put it back together. Before I did anything on this engine, I had to first find out if there is an engine rebuild kit, and I found one online at Friday Parts. You'll find a link down in the description if you'd like to rebuild an engine like this yourself. That engine rebuild kit came to a total of 750 Canadian dollars. Um, that was with shipping, so that came right here. Once I measured up everything in the rebuild kit, I passed this on to the machine shop. They did their work and to machine all three bores and insert brand new sleeves to go back to the original size of the piston cost me 468 Canadian dollars for all three cylinders. If we look at one cylinder separately, that would come to roughly around 150 Canadian dollars per cylinder. So that is machining, inserting a sleeve and machining it out once more to accommodate the new piston. Once these cylinders were bored and the sleeves were inserted, the machine shop also had to hone these cylinders. The honing costs $90 in total. So for three cylinders, you can calculate $30 per cylinder. Up above, I will list all the prices in Canadian dollars and American dollars so you guys will have a better understanding if you'd like to tackle something like this yourself. The cylinder head on this Yanmar three-cylinder diesel was completely gone through so brand new valve guides, brand new valve seats were inserted, uh, everything was pressure tested so I know the cylinder head is in great condition and the machine shop charged me exactly $170 for all that work. Obviously if your cylinder head is still in great condition and you just have to lap in your valves to recondition them you can do that and you'll save yourself around $170. Now around the engine I had some other costs as well I didn't just focus on what the machine shop charged me or within the engine rebuild kit. I also had some other costs like the injectors, the shim kit that I purchased as well. I also had to purchase brand new engine oil. I also had to get a brand new thermostat. I filled everything up with brand new distilled water and antifreeze so it will be great for winter conditions here in Canada. So this John Deere 855 also came with a John Deere 52 loader. This loader also has four cylinders on it and each cylinder has exactly two hydraulic hoses. As I hooked it up for the first time after the engine rebuild, I shared that with you guys in my last video. Uh, I noticed that the bucket wouldn't tilt and that was due to an airlock within the system. But I also noticed some of the hoses were leaking and there was one that was actually leaking right here and I was actually punctured exactly in the middle. So that was a 34 inch hydraulic hose which is off to the right side of the tractor and to replace that it cost me exactly $55. You probably also noticed the John Deere 55 is missing the headlight lens which is on the front of the tractor. I actually had one but it also got damaged by the previous owner so I have to replace it. That will probably come to around $100. I haven't purchased that just yet so I won't count this into the initial breakdown. The total repair cost for this John Deere 55 came to 1,928 Canadian dollars. If we take the tractor cost in consideration, which was $2,500, that comes to a total of 4,428 Canadian dollars. In US dollars, that's around 3,500 US dollars. And I really think that's a good deal in my opinion, but I'd love to hear from you what you guys think. Was this a good deal? 
um, was it a good investment? Do you guys think I put too much money into the engine? Or should I put a different engine, maybe a used engine, into this tractor? I'd love to hear your thoughts and drop a comment down below if you guys want to. So that right there was a quick breakdown on the John Deere 55. I shared with you guys all the costs that went into this tractor to make it running and functioning the way it should. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop a comment down below or reach out to me via email. You'll find a link down in the description. But right now, I'm gonna head out and see you guys in an upcoming video.